This looks like a malignant spindle cell tumor from the thigh of an elderly male. Pathology resident, can you order some immunostains so we can figure out what it is? Sure, doctor lots of stains, what immunos should I order? Let's start with Vimentin, of course. And also pancytocarotin and high and low weight carotins. To decide if it is sarcoma or carcinoma. Okay. I am not even going to go there about Vimentin, but cytocarotins make sense. Next let's order S100 to rule out melanoma. But just to be extra sure, let's do Mart 1, HMB45, Tyrosinase, and MITF. Couldn't we just start with S100, and then do the other stains, if that is positive? Yes, we could. But this will be faster. Okay. Next let's order CD31, and CD34, to make sure it is not angiosarcoma. Oh, and Fly1 as well it is a good vascular marker. But the tumor just looks like pleomorphic spindle cells with no vascular channels. Do we really need to do those stains? Well, we have them available in our immuno lab, so why not just to be sure? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, how about throwing on a C-kit as well? C-kit? For just? Exactly. But this is a leg mass. Yes, but just can occur outside the GI tract. I thought it was very rare though. Have you ever seen one? Not yet, but I figure that, if I keep ordering, see kid on every spindle cell tumor that I see, I will eventually find one. I don't even know what to say to that but okay. Oh, and why don't you order calretinin, D240, and thrombomodulin? For mesothelioma? Again, this is a lead mass, remember? Yes, but just to be sure. As you wish. And maybe we should do LCACD20 and CD3, just to be certain it is not a lymphoma. But this is a spindle cell tumor with no round cells is lymphoma very high in our differential. We just need to make sure to rule it out. Couldn't we just rule it out by looking at the slides because it does not look like lymphoma? Well, I guess we could do that, but our lab has the immunostains, so why not just order them? Okay, I assume that is all for now, right? Oh no, not yet. There are still unchecked boxes on the immunostain order form. We should probably make sure to check all of the boxes. Wow. So let's add beta HCG FP and OC34 in case it is a germ cell tumor. In the leg of an elderly man. Honestly. You never know, right? I guess if you say so. Oh, I almost forgot CD99 to rule out Ewing sarcoma and also BCL2 for synovial sarcoma. Oh, yeah, and a factor 13A. Factor 13, a why on earth would we need that? Well, it is spindle cell tumor and it approaches the skin, so we should probably do it. To rule out fibrosis teocytoma. Honestly, this is a malignant spindle cell tumor. Right? Yes, probably there is marked atypia and necrosis too, but just to be safe, let's do it. Okay, if you say so. Okay, the immuno stains are out now. All 28 of them. Good, what staining pattern do you see? Bimentin is positive, patchy factor 13A staining, everything else is negative. Even C kit, damn. I was hoping this would be a gist. Wow. Well, resident, I guess we should send this out for a consult, now that we have ordered all of the available immuno stains in our lab. Okay, I will send it. I bet they will be very happy that we ordered so many immuno stains. Probably. Okay, the consult came back on this case now. The diagnosis is pleomorphic undifferentiated sarcoma high grade. Oh, yes, I guess that makes sense now. Maybe we did not need quite so many immunos. Yes, maybe not. I guess we could have just done a cytokeratin to rule out carcinoma, an S100 to rule out melanoma, an actin to rule out lyomyosarcoma, and a desmin to rule out rhabdomyosarcoma. I think next time we should try those four stains first, before applying our entire arsenal of immunos to the tumor. Good point, resident. Maybe we will do that next time, and save $5,000.